All right, well, my story is about my Winnie, my staffy bulldog, hound dog, mix rescue girl. Uh, we rescued her. We went to the Dade County Animal Shelter, and she was one of those dogs that was in immediate need for rescue. She wasn't doing well at all in the shelter, but the eyes, it was just those almond eyes looking at you, and it was just like, that's it, I'm taking her. <laughs> so we, we got her, and uh, she was about, they think 17, 18 months. Don't know much about her background. I just, they just tell me she's a stray. Um, so she came home. She has a lot of cousins, a lot of, you know, family that loves her. She's really good. She's doing really well. And then all of a sudden, a few months ago, she just started feeling a little off. Um, she just was losing energy, wasn't eating as well, but was gaining weight. Uh, I just thought maybe she was missing me because I was gone for work or something, you know, a little depressed. But over time, I'm like, something's just not right. And I went to the vet, check her. She said they were fine. Okay, but I started making her food. I started thinking, you know, if she's gaining this weight, maybe I should start watching because she also has a turned out leg. So I don't know, one of her legs goes like this. <laughs> So it's super cute though. It's just corky. I love it. So, but they said that she's prone to maybe have arthritis when she's older, it might hurt. So I should just try to keep her weight at a, so it, less pain, obviously. And of course I'm giving her the supplements, you know, all that. Um, so I started making her food just in case, just to watch, you know, turkey. I was researching coconut oil, vegetables, cauliflower, you know, whatever vegetables were good. And I'd mix it with ground turkey or beef or salmon. I'm basically getting gourmet meals. But still her energy was down and it was something's off. So I went back again. I said, something's wrong. As she goes on the scale, I'm all excited because after she supposedly gained 10 pounds in one year, which was a lot, I'm thinking she's going to lose weight without me feeding her. And she gains another four pounds. I'm like, that's impossible in six weeks. And I'm, I know what she's eating, no way, there's something wrong. So they looked at her again and they decided to do a blood test. And so she ended up having hypothyroidism, which, okay, I don't mind. At least it's a cure. At least it's something she can live with. And thank God it was something manageable. So now she's on, um, we just started three weeks ago, just giving her medication. And she's just another dog running around, jumping around. Her best friend is a bulldog, lives two blocks away. I swear, I don't know. They don't see each other for a day and they get depressed. They have to. And you can see the other dog was also trying to get her to play. And now, like just yesterday, they were running and jumping. and It was so nice to see. Um, so we have another blood test next week just to make sure the levels are good. But I think it is. But yeah, so. I thank God that we found her because she's going to be able to have a happy life and not, you know, unfortunately, I think if she was in the shelter or in the street, she might not be around. So I guess that's my story. Her name is Winnie. My granddaughter named her Winnie. And she's just, I love her. She's